Hi, I'm Elle McCann and I've been a Shopify expert for over eight years now. And in today's Shopify quick tips video, I'm gonna go over a really quick and easy way to increase your sales and conversions for your Shopify store. And better yet, it's actually free. So you would really probably be surprised with how many orders or potential orders are lost due to people just not filling out and completing the order process. This can happen because of external distractions, like they're on their phone out somewhere and they put their phone away, or maybe their kid or their dog comes in the room and is distracting them. Or maybe they are going through the order checkout process and the shipping's a little bit higher than they thought previously. And it really stinks because these are ways that, you know, you've already spent the time and money either through paid ads, social media, influencer marketing, getting them to your store and they're really interested in your product, but for whatever reason, they don't buy. So one of the best ways to actually increase your conversion rate on your site is by turning on abandoned carts. So what abandoned carts does is you turn it on and then after they go through the order process, they do have to enter their email address. So at least the first step on the Shopify checkout area, but once they enter their email address and then they leave the site, then you're able to actually send them an email follow-up saying, Hey, you forgot and you left things in your cart and you can also give them a discount code to continue on through the purchase. But a lot of times, even without the discount code, just that reminder of, Hey, you liked this product before and you didn't finish your order process, a lot of times that can still convert them into a paying customer. So as I mentioned, it's actually free with Shopify. So you can go into your settings area in the Shopify backend, and then you're going to go to checkout and you can turn on the abandoned carts functionality. Once you've turned this on and chosen the time that you are going to actually have the email sent out to them, you can then click on the customize email button. So here you can go in and customize any of the wording that you want. You don't want to edit any of the text in between the curly brackets because that's going to be the actual code that makes everything work and it auto fills their information. But you can edit any of the other text to make it be more wording specific to your brand. And then once you're done, you can actually hit that preview button to see exactly what the email is going to look like when it is sent out to anyone who is going to receive this after they've abandoned the cart. Now, this is a free way to do it with Shopify. However, you can also do it with different email providers like MailChimp or Klaviyo, or there are other Shopify apps in the app store that let you do this as well. So there's a lot of different options, both free and paid to send abandoned carts, but I definitely recommend that you set up abandoned carts for your Shopify store, especially if you're running paid ads, because you wanna just try and convert as many of those people back to paying customers as possible so that you're not losing money on your paid ads. So I hope you found this video tip helpful. We've got more video tips that are these quick five minute tutorials coming out every Tuesday. You can watch the full playlist over here. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. I post all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.